check the shipment tonight. Oh, nice, uh, nice potty mouth over there. What I just say? See, obviously, I could have also go th gone through the entrance, but you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. Now there will come a point where I cannot actually uh, dodge them, because I need to drop here. And it's gonna suck. Uh, I don't know what I. Yeah. Okay, I guess that our guy died, and they're not coming here. That's fine. Oh, God! What the fuck? Oh, you son of a bitch. What is that? No, wait. Ugh. Ah, shit. Wanted to save, actually. Yeah, because of this shit. Well, I guess we'll save again. Okay, so now we need to get the fuck out of here. Did he hit his own guy? Well, good thing I saved. You know what? Fuck it. You've so many bullets. Oh god. Oh. Should have done this fucking oh. Okay, hold on. Let me load the game. <laughs> I should have switched to first person view there. Oh, 
Well, this is not efficient at all, actually. Great. Yeah, no, great. <laughs> What does that do? Jesus. Yeah, maybe I should just run? I mean, I, ha I have, like, the whole speed thing, you know, on my side. And go. <laughs> okay, that's not where I'm supposed to go. Okay, great. You see why I, why I saved, huh? I didn't do that for nothing, that's for sure. What the fuck was that? It's a bot. Okay. Uh, are you a werewolf? <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. See, this is also a cooler approach, but like werewolves and vampires, instead of, you know, what Twilight does, you're not going to kill me? I hadn't planned on it. Okay, so who are you and why have you been following me? I see my reputation for once it does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Um. Well, the Baron has a split personality. She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Or should I say, they are undoubtedly Malkavian. Ah! 
Oh. That's, of course, also why Jeanette is never in the same room with her. Yes. Hmm. I saw a ghost. A ghost? Hmm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay rakes no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Hmm. I met some kindred on the beach that didn't seem like kindred. In bloods, they're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Mm hmm I didn't really see any. <laughs> so Most just go down a list. Most of here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Uh, good night, Beckett. Ciao. Oh, hello. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> this guy is straight out of Fallout, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, you know Beckett. someone named Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? Uh, I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. But that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our... condition. Hmm, I have some serious questions. What do you need? So what was the deal with you and Therese? That was just silly vampire politicking, fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. I think Therese really wanted you dead. Or did you know that Jeanette and Therese were the same person? Uh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. That sounded a lot more efficient than a pain in your ass. <laughs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Get them together in one Malkavian body. And look what happens. Talk about your drama queens. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. Fame and power do not intrigue you? I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. That's funny. I want to ask you something about like something. what? Um... I have some questions about the clans. Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Tell me about those Malkavians. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and, uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but, uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. Okay, I'm gonna do this, but sure. another clan. Uh... Mm. There we go, my clan! <laughs> I don't rub elbows with the pretty bloodsuckers much, but I've seen them work people like puppeteers. That's and why I am a Toriador. Why they get off their slimy ass I am that puppeteer, baby. Some use besides feeding their egos. 
I lie, cheat, and deceive my way up. Wow, I guess I can make a remark on that because I'm one of them. Sure. Uh... Mm. Well, they get a bad rap if you ask me. Oh, the venture, by the way, I did. To take shots at the man in charge. But when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. They can take the heat. Uh, about the sex. Yeah. Um, what about this Camarilla? The Camarilla works. When you let vampires run wild, you wind up with caitiff frenzying in the streets, then bloods blowing the masquerade, and hunters sniffing around. Law and order is the kindred's friend. So what do you think of the prince? What am I going to say? He's the boss now. Okay. So what about his big gorilla? He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really, except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. Sure. What about the, um, Rodriguez guy? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. Hmm. Well, that's it for now. Thank you. I love that he has a PC in this fucking oil barrel. Or oil thingy. Wait a minute. Uh... Downtown, I think. There we go. Next hub area, people. This one is definitely longer than uh, Santa Monica. <laughs> yep, subtle. For the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, Nick. Its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camarilla, fuck. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Son of a bitch! Oh, snap! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? Ooh. 